Hi guys, you're watching RBHD and today we have a lot of FIFA 20 news to cover. So let's jump straight into it, shall we? So a leak of potential career mode screenshot has been making the rounds on Twitter recently uh, for all the good reasons, because it looks absolutely great, this screenshot does. You can see there's a bunch of information in regards to the youth team where you can promote and demote players. And obviously there is a whole section on the youth team as well. As you can see, the standings for the second team um, and this you know, rep report second team. So there'll be a bit of information about the youth team and how they perform probably. However, as you can see on the bottom right hand corner, it does state it is a concept. Therefore, this leak isn't technically a leak and it's obviously just being made by someone to kind of visualize their own career mode menu so to say but to fair to the guy it is a really great concept it looks professional it's laid out professionally and it really does make you want these kind of changes to be implemented within career mode because there's so much potential for career mode to be great however EA is holding back what isn't a concept though is a whole new set of icons that have been released by EA themselves these include icons such as Zidane, Perlo, Drogba, Ian Wright Komen and Carlos Alberto, which is a very exciting bunch of players. I'm personally looking forward to playing as the Dan and just, you know, headbutting a few guys if they piss me off. Now, there's still a lot of icons yet to be announced, so I'm keeping my eyes out on the EA FIFA page um, on Facebook and Twitter. So as soon as some others are announced, then by all means, I'll pop them in the next video if need be. Now, just as FIFA 20 got announced, EA gave us some dates on when we can expect some more information in regards of gameplay, career mode, pro clubs, FIFA 20, and the new Falter. However, we're a little bit behind. Gameplay states that it was going to be shown mid-July, which to be fair, we did get the gameplay trailer. Um, so I'll give them that. At the end of the July, we were supposed to get a career mode, but we are still waiting for that, and it's now currently the 3rd of August, so we, we I should imagine we should expect that anytime soon, but like I said, we are slightly behind on that. And once again, at the end of July, we were supposed to get pro clubs, and you know we're still waiting for that as well. We haven't got really much information in regards of pro clubs either. Some information in regards of FIFA Ultimate Team was released not too long ago, so I'll... I'll I'll leave that one, I'll give them that, that's absolutely fine. In regards to Volta, we haven't heard much about Volta since it was announced at the you know, E3, so we are still kind of waiting for some more information in regards to that, so EA need to kind of gather their shit and kind of fucking get on target with these time frames because it's, uh, the fans are going wild for some more news in regards to this game. And finally, some FIFA 20 gameplay has been released. It looks like it's part of FIFA Ultimate Team. As you can see, Sterling is on the ball. He passes to Hazard, and Hazard scores. What I've heard is this gameplay showcases a new mode called Mystery Ball, where the ball will get a speed boost, as you can see on screen now, at certain times in the game. So at the moment, it's on times one, so it might just be above average speed. So you can imagine some of the wonder goals you're going to be scoring outside the box at certain times of the games. It's going to be a great game mode to look forward to so i'm really interested in this game mode although it's ultimate team we are playing at anfield as you can see the fans are holding more flags than usual on previous fifa games so it's great that ea have added, added this into the game in regards of gameplay and how it looks sterling running on the game looks great i think the players on the game running looks great so you can see the overhaul there and then the ball physics shooting and going into goal looks great as well in terms of this next gameplay footage there's not much to go off as you can see it's the first gameplay footage of perlo and um, once again it is ultimate team he spends a bit of time in this squared box as the timer goes up. Now we're not sure in regards of what this involves, but what we do know is that it is a challenge and it looks like it's going to be implemented in the Ultimate Team. Personally for me, I believe that each player has to spend a certain amount of time or they have to spend as much time as possible in the box without the opposite player tackling them. At the end of the game, the player who has spent the most time in the allocated boxes probably wins. But that's just my theory, that isn't confirmed yet. The only way we'll find out is when the actual game is released. But that's the end of today's video, guys. Thanks very much for watching. If you did enjoy, if you or if you felt like you've got some new information from this video, smash the like button. Subscribe if you feel you know you feel like this is the kind of content you want to stay up to date with. There's a lot more videos to come from me. Um, so yeah, enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.